Hey everyone, it's Walker at Full Spectrum Laser and welcome to In The Cut where we do all kinds of different applications on different machines that we have, kind of give you tips on what machine to get for your application and uh, just see different weird things get engraved and cut. So if you ever have an idea, please let us know and we'll do it on this show. <clears throat> so what are we doing today? We're doing Nick's guitar. He's trusted me with his guitar and we are engraving it on the 48 by 36 and we're putting on this design. Now this design he picked out, I put a vector on it so we could uh, mark it out and line it up and let's see how it's going. Now that white residue you see is the actual thick lacquer that's on top of the wood. Now you don't want to engrave into the wood or maybe just a little bit, but not too much because that's going to ruin the resonation of the actual instrument. So it's nice that this has a nice thick layer of uh, lacquer on top that we're engraving and it looks like acrylic. What's great about a clear coat like this is that after it's engraved we can either clean it off and just have that ghosty white look on the back of the guitar or we can fill it with an acrylic paint and uh, with water and a towel just clean off the rest and the paint will actually sit in the engraving. This is, what's, this is what's great about the Pro 48 by 36. The PS48 is what we call it. I have this guy at home and you can put large objects with no, no worries. So last week I put in a huge table and did the whole top of a table and then today we're doing a guitar. So that's what's great about the 48 is there's really no limits to how, what, you know, what size the project is.
setting up a job like this, always remember that you can run the perimeter and visually see that line with the diodes uh, go around the job. That's Nick. It smells pretty good in here. Now not only can you run the perimeter to line up a job onto a guitar or something like a guitar, you can also create a digital jig is what I like to call it or just a bounding box. For this guy I made just a single line vector and with the lid open it's not going to fire. So I just ran that vector over and over again as a straight line giving me the center line of the guitar so I knew it was perfectly straight on that guitar and then I ran the perimeter and it was good to go. Now this job is about 30 minutes long. You guys only see about six minutes of it and that's at 250 dpi which is fine for a solid fill engraving or simple logo type engraving. Now if this was a photo image you'd probably want to go to 500 dpi and if you don't know what 500 dpi is or dpi in general that's dots per inch. So essentially your resolution. We go all the way up to a thousand dpi and it's all according to speed, so 250 is going to be obviously faster than 500. So there we have it guys. I'm going to finish cleaning this off and hopefully I don't fall off the chair. But I'm going to clean this off and I'm going to put this, uh, take pretty pictures of it and put it on Facebook and Instagram. And if you want to see it all done and, you know, finished, maybe filled with paint, go check us out on there. And until next time, keep making. Mm -hmm.